Hey, it's Briggs R. We're going to do a, a brief tutorial on BrickLink and trying to find the parts you need to either complete a mock or maybe perhaps completing an old set by buying it by the piece. And sometimes that works out better for classics like the Cafe Corner and even sometimes like the Green Grocer and other sets. But say you need a bunch of parts and the problem you run into is you can't find a seller that has all the parts or you don't know how to find a seller that has most of the parts and I, this was spurred on by a question first of all on Instagram by TJ Avion sorry if I said your name wrong he mentioned he says can you make another video with BrickLink because I really wanted to know or really wanted to make this Lego big boy that's a big locomotive uh, Union Pacific locomotive because I'm a train fan but when I get on BrickLink they had this thing that some stores you have to have a ten dollar minimum. Is there an easier site I can use, or there is there an easier way? Well, I don't know of any other site that is easier or better to find pieces you need for a mod than Bricklink. Yeah, you can find them on eBay sometimes, but sellers are usually <laughs> you're not going to find everything you need for a particular mock and when you're building a custom item it is very very hard now if you're buying a set it's actually a lot easier and before I get into that there's also um, here's a question one here by Daniel O'Brien he says is it possible instead of buying every trying to order every brick I need to email the seller the instructions and tell them what pieces I need I need the pieces to make up the battle of indoor ATST so that's a set now, it's usually easier to get a set. And it's interesting you said here about the instructions. And that's how I would begin, for instance, if you're looking for a set. Now, again, a set is easier to find the pieces for than a mock. So we're going to type in a commonly um, a common set that people want to finish that they don't have that's expensive to buy as a set. And that is the Green Grocer, which is set 10185. And so I type that in. See, there's the Green Grocer. Now I'm going to click on this instead of the inventory. And you see it's got instructions entry, the set entries, which you come to. And you see people selling them. Let's see what they're selling for. Yeah, 640 is the cheapest one. <laughs> and, it, and it's missing pieces. So, yeah, not easy to get it cheaply. Let's go back a screen here. Now what, you, what I would do is click on the instructions. And this shows there are only 22 lots of the instructions. And I would recommend any set that you're trying to finish add the instructions to your wanted list that's the wanted list up here you click on it you can add sets instructions pieces uh, to your wanted list and then anytime somebody lists the instructions for sale chances are they have uh, the pieces as well so that's usually what people do they'll part out a set they'll list the instructions and the pieces. So here we see at the top, Partworks has 38 instructions for the Green Grocer. So let's click on him. So he's got 38 of them. I bet you he parted out a bunch. Let's go look at the common color in the Green Grocer, which is sand, sand green, and see what he's got as far as sand green parts. He's got 8,881 sand green. There's the one by eight bricks that are in the Green Grocer. These are in the green grocer. One by threes are in the green grocer. You see they're expensive. Fifty cents. The one by the one by eights are four dollars. One by fours. Some of these are not in the green grocer. Uh, the one by ones are in the green grocer. And it looks like the the hard to find parts have already sold out in his store, which are the one by twos with the ridge in them, uh, the groove in them. So those have already all sold out. So even though he had a bunch of them people wiped his store out of the hardest to find parts but if you add the instructions to the wanted list that's I think the best way of finding the parts let's go to somebody who has this one's in Germany let's see what sand green parts he has oh, he has there they are sand green let's see if he has the rare part yeah there it is he has 56 of the sand green modified one but you know what I should buy all those two dollars and thirty nine cents it's got fifty six of them should I buy those ah, oh, oh well <laughs> there you go so that's the this is the hard to find part he's got fifty six so that's how I would begin searching for him now if you if you got a mock 
and obviously there's not going to be an instruction manual for that just go to your brick link go to your wanted and just you'll have to one by one just add the parts to the, your wanted list and so you know you click that you got to look up all the part numbers put them in there add them and so we'll pretend like I already did that and you can search by shop then so I got my wanted list now you can look at your wanted list and see all the different things you have in your wanted list but if you go and search by shop, it'll show you has, who has the most unique lots. So Lillian's World, she always has a bunch of things that I want, but her prices are higher because uh, she has free shipping. And so we'll click on her. So here's some different things. I actually already have this. I already got this. Don't have this. But see, she's got the, uh, a lot of different unique items that are on my wanted list, and some of these I actually already got. There's Ollie. So that's, that's a good way of seeing who has the most unique items. Now, they may not have the quantities that you need, but like he's got all the, the trees, some train parts there. So you end up getting some duplicates if they don't consolidate their lots. That's always kind of annoying because you think you're getting a bunch of different things, and then like 10 lots are the same item. So that's not necessarily. They might be bricks. There's our Ebna's hair. <laughs> There's a cat. There's the one that goes on a dinosaur set. There's a metallic gold brick. So that's that's the best way to do it. And you're not usually going to find a seller for a mock that's got all the parts that you need. But you can find ones that have the most. Again, the prices may not be the lowest on BrickLink. And that's the other way I would begin searching is just uh, start with the part that you need the most of. The most parts are, are the rarest to find. So we'll go to like one of my parts, like, uh, I don't know, let's do promotional bricks. Uh, nobody's going to have many of those. Let's see. Uh, la -da -da. We will try. Here's go to, what should I look at? We'll do a Fabuland part. All right, there's a part for a bed. So you can see who has the lowest price that way. And then you can click on them. And then once you've done that, you can go to see which items this seller has in my wanted list. And this is the only item. So remember that right there. Always check that when you're looking for a part, all items on your wanted list. So number one, add all the parts that you're looking for to your wanted list. Number two, if it's a set, search by the instructions. And see who has the instructions for sale. And then number three, Start with maybe the lowest parts and just see in which sellers have the most items or go by shop and see which sellers have the most items. So I hope that has been helpful for people trying to complete a set or find parts for a mock on BrickLink. Uh, there is no uh, super easy way, but that's some shortcuts that I use. Uh, there may be other ways that are more beneficial. If you know a better way, be sure to put it in the comments below. And if you've seen a better tutorial, let me know. And we can always reference that because we're here to help each other. And that's, I just want to show you what I do, and I hope it is beneficial to you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down, and we'll catch you in the next video. It's a brick's art. You want to hit this click right now.